Today, we look at the life of Rosa Parks and her contributions to our great nation. Hi, my name is Travis. Rosa Parks was born Rosalie McCauley on February 4th, 1913 in Tuskegee, Alabama. She was raised on her grandparents' farm. As a child, Rosa was exposed to segregation. She was forced to walk to school because the bus company at that time would not allow black children to use the school buses. She later attended the Alabama State College High School. But due to her mother's and grandmother's illness, Rosa was forced to drop out of school. At the age of 19, Rosa met Raymond Parks. They were married in 1932. Raymond encouraged Rosa to go back to school, which she did to earn her high school diploma. Raymond worked for the NAACP, a group in which Rosa joined right after they became married. He served there as a secretary and as a youth leader. History can be very peculiar. It can place talented, gifted men and women in situations where they have to make a choice. Rosa made a choice on the afternoon of December 1st, 1955. Rosa and three other black women were asked to get up so that white males can sit on the bus. Rosa was the only one who refused and she was arrested on site. Rosa's trial was on December 5th and a boycott was issued to start taking place on December 5th, all day the day of her trial. Rosa was found guilty and was fined $14. Rosa was a role model for injustice and she had a lot of courage because she faced injustice head on. Rosa Parks through her quiet elegance, her commitment through her faith, the cause of civil rights and racial equality, was prepared to sacrifice everything, even her life, on for what she believed was right, what she believed to be justice. 1,000 people took carpools and cabs to work to boycott for Rosa Parks. The boycott lasted 381 days. The boycott was headed by a then 26 year old named Martin Luther King. Rosa was not the first person to refuse getting up from the bus. Months prior to that, two black women were asked to get up off the bus and they refused and they were arrested as well. But this shy, quiet, 42-year-old Rosa Parks became the face of the Montgomery boycott movement. In 1956, history was made. The Supreme Court decision of 9 to 0 supported the position of segregation and withdrew segregation from buses. Rosa was unable to find work afterwards due to her political stance. Rosa and her husband moved to Detroit, Michigan. By 1955, Rosa was working for a congressman. The congressman's name was John Connors and she worked for him until 1988 when she retired. In memory of her late husband, Rosa created the Rosa and Raymond Parks Institute. This institute was for education and self-development of young people to educate them on the civil rights movements. This institute also gave freedom buses and gave the use education and knowledge and professional guidance. Rosa also gave lectures and advocated for social justice. Rosa Parks died on October 24th, 2005. She was the first 
woman and second African-American that was given the honor to lie at the U.S. Capitol Rotunda. Rosa received two dozen honorary doctorates. She also received numerous national and international awards. Among them, the gold medal honor of freedom given to her by President Bill Clinton. Rosa almost also received the Congressional Medal of Honor. Rosa was a grassroots activist for social justice. Through her efforts in the civil rights movement and participation in the anti-apartheid movement in South Africa, Rosa never planned on getting arrested that day. But her simple action to stand for something changed the course of a nation. What a great story and even a greater woman. Here's to you, Rosa Parks. Happy Black History Month.